Mrs. Vinita Arora. I am an English postgraduate and I've done uh, LLB law and I have been associated with this school since uh, you can say 1993, which we had the first branch at Madhya Pradesh, uh, Vasile group of schools. And 2008-2009, we began a journey at Pune. And so we are here at Varachivadi Undri. Uh, the school is up to plus two level, that is class 12th, and it's a CBSE school. And uh, almost 20, 20, 20, 22 years, I'm working as a principal. And from in this institution, from last 15 years, I'm as closely associated and being a founder principal also, and also associated with uh, all, the, all the nitty and gritties of the school. All the schools are named as Vasile, which stands for Mother's Selfless Love. So I think this is the, we have a very humble background and uh, we are, uh, now we are up to class 12th here and it's a CBSC affiliated school. What we are doing mostly is promoting sports, which is a uh, need of the hour. That it has been a very enriching journey, lot to learn and lot to give. Uh, we have been experiencing this every day. And the area which we are working at is quite challenging as it's a rural area. And therefore, we are uh, having children from rural backgrounds. The parents are not educated. So that is another challenge we are facing. But I'm very happy to say that we are really cruising on this journey in a very smooth way. And we are sure that our rural background children will also do very well in society and in their, in their careers. Corona, we have been facing different kind of challenges. The first foremost is how to fill in the gap of two years. Because two years, children were not exposed to any kind of active schooling. And therefore, uh, we, have been, we are facing challenges in uh, how to cope up so that uh, they, are, uh, they become a regular students like earlier, uh, pre-corona uh, days. So the thing is that uh, they are more impatient. They don't have any kind of discipline. All what we can feel is they have become very confused right now. So they get panicked. Then they don't want to write. They don't want to study. And different kind of um, psychological fears, stress, and many more things we are witnessing in day-to-day -day lives of the children. As we can see when they come, their body language is different. Earlier it was different. And I think slowly... Within this year, or we are almost reaching the end of the year. By next year, we'll be seeing better times with more confident children. And I'm sure that everyone will be in a very, very happy space in 2023. We cannot separate technology from the students. But the thing is that technology was well required in uh, pandemic times because everybody was going online classes. So it was a great help to get connected with each other and they could study also. And uh, they, the courses could go on very well. And we have adapted it very well also as we had Google Zoom, uh, Zoom Meets, Google Meets, Microsoft. then Microsoft Teams and exam.net and everything. So there were many, I've just named a few. There were many, but the thing is that this kind of uh, transition from a regular schooling to uh, online schooling was a bit difficult in the beginning. But as the time passed, I think a teacher very well adapt to the thing. So all uh, credit goes to them for adapting it so well. And they could were able to switch on. And now as we have gone back to the old days, so the switch off has also happened. But I think sometimes we can have a hybrid mode also. So that everything goes on smoothly and this major transformation is not there and it, everything has to be very smooth functioning. Already mentioned that we had uh, this uh, Zoom classes, Google classes, Google Meet and Microsoft Teams and uh, exam.net. These are the few things we have introduced and many more are in the pipeline. 
let's see if uh, we can get into a better kind of a technology or better kind of platform we'll be open to any kind of new things plans are never ending plans the school is a, every time you can say it's a very progressive institution it's ever growing and therefore we can say that um, something like sports which is a very important uh, key factor to our schooling because children have become little inactive and therefore to make them again in the same mode we have planned many many sports for them so they become active and then we are also planning different kind of activities interactive activities uh, like debates extempore oral activities are there then we want want to get into great way into dramatics where children can learn so much about uh, drama music yoga yoga we have also introduced a value addition period which is very important in uh, we, are, we are kind of giving a values to our children and therefore we have named it as a value addition period whichever period is free or the teacher has not come that period is been utilized to teach some value by some teacher so that is also a very new thing which we have done and i think it will it will have a great response our children will be able to relate to it and become much more humbler and much more uh, human a good human beings in future future lives please children we know you have come through lot of challenges tough times but now we should look forward because the past is gone future we do not know we have to live in present and present we have to work hard we have to build our futures today if we have to have a clear road map a clear path a clear vision we should be focused so that we move on smoothly challenges will come difficulties will come in life but you must emerge stronger and you should, should be a face in the crowd and good go on and on and on and should never stop or look back